almost all spiritual disciplines are ways of persisting in folly. So if a person believes that the earth is flat, you can't talk him out of that. He knows it's flat. Look out of the window and see. It's obviously it looks flat. So the only way to convince him that it isn't is to say, well, let's go and find the edge. And in order to find the edge, you've got to be very careful not to walk in circles. You'll never find it that way. So we've got to go consistently in a straight line, due west, along the same line of latitude. And eventually, when we get back to where we started from, you've convinced the guy that the earth is round. But that's the, that's the only way that will te teach him, because people can't be talked out of illusions. There is not life on the one hand and you on the other. It's all the same. But you see, you can't tell people that. And just by telling, get them to see it. it just in, in exactly this way, you, the people who know that the earth is flat can't be reasoned with. People who believe that the Bible is the literal word of God, absolutely impossible to reason with them at all, because they know it is so. So in the same way, we tend to know that we are all separate, poor little me, and that we are in need of salvation or something. And we know this is so. And so somebody says, well, you are not really that. You know that that feeling of separateness is an illusion. Well, that's all very nice in theory, but I don't feel it. So what will you do? What will you do with a person who is convinced that the earth is flat? No way of reasoning with him. If it's for some reason important that he discover that the earth is round, you've got to play a game with him. You've got to play a trick on him. You tell him, great, the earth is flat. Let's go and look over the edge. Wouldn't that be fun? Of course, if we're going to look over the edge of the earth, we must be very, very careful that we don't go round in circles or we'll never get to the edge. So we've got to go along consistently, along a certain line of latitude westwards. And then we're going to come to the edge of the earth, just so long as we're consistent. In other words, in order to convince a flat earthist, that the world is round, you've got to make him act consistently on his own proposition and go consistently westwards to find the edge of the world. Now, at last, when he, by going consistently westwards, he comes back to the place where he started, he's been convinced that the earth is at least cylindrical. And he may believe you, and then take it on faith that if he goes along a line of longitude, the same thing will happen. But you see, what you did was to make him persist in his folly. Now that's the whole method of Zen. To make people become perfect egotists.